you are welcome in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ another beautiful glorious wonderful and awesome time in the presence of our lord our strength our maker our redeemer my prayer to god almighty is for god to keep us under his shadow to lay his mighty hand upon, upon us to deliver us from the shackles of the wicked and to set a table before us in the presence of our enemies in the name of jesus to save every soul present here tonight and those that will be listening to this message in the future in the name of jesus for god almighty to open the eyes of our understanding and give us the grace to be living in holiness in righteousness and the fullness of his power all the days of our lives in the mighty in the name of Jesus. We start the broadcast tonight by singing, have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Tonight is our special night to present before the Lord our bottle of anointing oil. As we present oil before God, may God Almighty anoint us afresh with Holy Ghost, with power and with fire in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Quickly invite your friends and loved ones to come and share in the light of God to come and be under the shadow of God Almighty and their lives will never remain the same again. The God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, will transform their lives from glory to glory, from power to power, from honor to honor in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace? This uh, are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified and be washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as no? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? When the bridegroom cometh with your robes be white, are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Will your soul be ready for the mansions bright? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? They aside the garment that has stayed we sin and be washed in the blood of the Lamb. There's a fountain flowing for the soul long clean. Oh, be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you washed? Are you washed in the blood? In the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Ah. The question we should be asking ourselves, beloved, tonight is this. Are we washed in the blood of the Lamb? It is those who are washed in the blood that can be used by God. It is those who are washed in the blood that will receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. It is those who are washed in the blood and are walking daily by the Savior's side that will pray and signs and wonders will manifest. I want you to go before God and ask God to wash you to wash your home, to wash you from your head to the sole of your feet with the blood of the Lamb. Father, I will thank you for the cleansing power in the blood. Father, I will thank you for the mercy in the blood. Thank you for sending your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us, for the cleansing of our sins, for the remission of our sins, and for creating in us a new heart. Thank you, Lord, for the power and the authority in the blood over all situations. We thank you, Lord, for the power and the authority in the blood 
to destroy the works of darkness. We thank you for the power and the authority in the blood to raise the dead, to heal the sick, and to open the eyes of the blind. Father, tonight and forevermore, take all the glory in the name of Jesus. We are grateful, O God, for the gift of life. We are grateful for your grace, for your love, for your mercy. We are grateful for going before us day by day and for making straight the crooked places, for breaking in pieces the gate of brass, for cutting in asunder the bars of iron, for giving unto us treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places over all situations of God, over our children, over our husbands, over our wives, over our jobs, over our health, over everything that concerns us. Jehovah God Almighty, take all the glory now and forevermore in the name of Jesus. Merciful God, we call upon you tonight. Father, we want our lives to be made whole again. We want to lay aside the garment that are still with sin. Oh God Almighty, come down in the fullness of your mercy. Wash away all our sins with the blood of the Lamb. Wash us still with the blood. 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 Wash away all our sins with the blood of Jesus. Wash away iniquities for my lives with the blood of Jesus. Wash away inherited sins. Wash away ancestral sins. Wash away besetting sins with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. Say, I am cleansed with the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord, cleanse me. Oh Lord, cleanse me. Cleanse my heart. Cleanse my blood. Cleanse us, oh Lord, with the blood of Jesus. Cleanse our body, soul, and spirit. Cleanse our children. Cleanse our husbands. Cleanse our wives. Cleanse this church with the power and the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood remove every garment that has stayed with sin in my life. Remove every garment that has stayed with sin in our lives. In the name of Jesus, remove iniquities from my heart. Oh God, remove sins from our lives. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray for Holy Ghost baptism. Father, as you are cleansing, oh God, Lord, fill us afresh with Holy Spirit. Fill us afresh with the anointing that breaketh yokes. Fill us afresh with Holy Ghost and with fire. Fill us afresh with Holy Ghost and with fire. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit of God, come upon us tonight. Holy Spirit of God, fill our lives tonight. Holy Spirit of God, fill our homes tonight. Holy Spirit of God, fill our environment tonight. Fill us, O oh God. Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit of God, take over tonight. Take over tonight. Take over tonight. Holy Spirit of the Living God, take over tonight. Take over our environment. Take over our lives. Take over our homes. Take over our dream lives. Take over our future. Take over our presence. Holy Spirit of God, take over. Take over. Holy Ghost, take over. Holy Ghost, take over. Holy Spirit of God, take over. Anointing of the Most High God, fill us afresh. Anointing that cannot be insulted. Anointing that cannot be captured. Anointing that cannot be disgraced. Anointing of grace. Anointing of power. Anointing to do great and mighty exploit. Anointing to pull down shackles of the darkness. Anointing to pull down strongholds. Anointing to destroy altars. Anointing to destroy wickedness. Anointing to pray and for manifestation to take place fall upon us now anointing of god fall upon us now anointing of god anointing of god fall upon us now in jesus name we are praying father we thank you because you are god that answer your prayers we thank you Lord, because you are the merciful god you are full of compassion tonight oh god have mercy upon us wash away all our sins and deposit in us a new spirit in the name of jesus tonight oh lord we stand upon your word we come against principalities we come against power us. We come against rulers of the darkness of this world. We come against spiritual wickedness in our places. We come against the necromancers. We come against household wickedness. We come against territorial witchcraft. We come against the Levitian forces. We come against the arrows that fly by day and the pestilence that walketh in darkness. We come against every demonic association wherever they are. By the power in the blood of Jesus, by the authority in the name of Jesus, we silence them. We bind them with chains and feeders and we cast them into the bottom Come, let's take a fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any power anywhere going to evil meetings tonight because of us. I command them right now to collide with the rock of ages and die. In the name of Jesus. Whosoever is setting up evil altars in order to release afflictions into our lives. Whosoever is ministering behind evil altars in order to injure our destinies. Holy Ghost, destroy them with your fire. Holy Ghost, destroy them with 
with your fire. Holy Ghost, destroy them with your fire. Enemies of our success, enemies of our salvation, enemies of our health, enemies of this church. I command the thunder, fire of God, earthquake of God, sequence of God, tempest of God to consume them now in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, consume them now. Holy Ghost, consume all on all repentant also wickedness, all territorial forces, all stubborn pursuers, Holy Spirit of God, with your fire, consume them, with your fire, consume them, in the name of Jesus, whatever is not of God in our lives, whatever is not of God in our dreams, whatever is not of God in this church, be rooted out and be destroyed, be uprooted and be destroyed, finger of God, finger of God, trouble, every trouble of our lives, in the name of Jesus, whosoever is waking up in the middle of the night to trouble our souls. Ramase kerebo, rikanderebo, rimoko sokorobondereba. Whosoever is using the night to trouble us, whosoever is using the power of the mind to afflict us, whosoever is using the power of the night to send arrows at us, fire of God, destroy them now. Thunder of God, destroy them now. Earthquake of God, destroy them now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says when the enemies are coming like a flood. The Spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against him. Father, in the name of Jesus, enemies raising against us like a flood. Enemies coming against us to destroy us. Internal enemies, external enemies. Oh God, destroy them. Oh God, destroy them. Oh God, destroy them. Oh God, destroy them. Father, we pray tonight. Expose all, all internal enemies. Expose them. Disgrace them. Destroy them. Expose them. Disgrace them. Destroy them. Whatever the enemies are using to trouble us. Whatever the enemies are using to steal from us. Whatever the enemies are using to cause problems in our lives. Be Destroy now, be exposed, be disgraced, and be destroyed. 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 In the name of Jesus, oh God of power, oh God of power, release your power upon us. Oh God, we want power, power to win battles, power to stand, power to fight, power to be victorious. Oh Lord, power to excel, power to be victorious, power to win battles, power to excel. Follow upon us now. Oh Lord, give us power. Oh Lord, give us power. Holy Ghost power. Give us power. Oh Lord, give us power. Holy Ghost power. Give our homes power. Oh Lord, give our children power. Give our husbands power. Give all the wives power. Give us power, oh Lord. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost power. Possess us now. Holy Spirit of God, possess us now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Father, we thank you because you are merciful. Thank you, Lord, because you are gracious. We thank you, Lord, because you are excellent. Take all the glory now and forevermore in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I surrender my life before thee. Whatever is in me that will make me to speak heresy or to speak with the enticing words of men, Father, Lord, by your mercy tonight, purge me, remove me, and make me, Lord, a new vessel in Christ Jesus. Fill me up with authority, power and fire from above, and use me as your vessel, as your holy requires as your mouthpiece, to propagate your gospel, and let your gospel go forth with authority and power, and set the captives free. Let your gospel go forth with authority and power, deliver us from the shackles of sins. Let your gospel go forth with authority and power, depopulate the kingdom of darkness, and populate your own kingdom. At the mention of your name tonight, let the lame walk, let the blind see, let the red rise, let the lame walk, let the blind see, let the dead rise, in the name of of Jesus, every soul here tonight, oh God, let them encounter the raw demonstration of your power in the name of Jesus. Let all problems, oh God, disappear tonight. Let all infirmities disappear tonight. Let all evil loads be taken away tonight. Let all demonic yokes be broken tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Savior. Thank you, mighty God. We cover this service with the blood of Jesus. We cover every lives, every soul here tonight with the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, and the fire of the Holy Ghost. We cover ourselves. We cover our environment. We cover the church. We cover every life here tonight. We cover those that will be listening to this message in the future with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. 
goes and I decree by the decree of heaven, evil shall not befall you. Disaster will not come near you. Arrows of darkness shall not prevail over you and your homes. In the name of Jesus, whosoever is planning affliction for you, whosoever is planning problems for you, they shall carry the afflictions them, themselves. They shall carry the problems themselves. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will preserve you from all evil. He will preserve your soul. The Lord will preserve your going out and your coming. In the name of Jesus, because you are in the presence of God, because you are serving God, because you are called by the name of God, whosoever will rise up against you for evil shall die for your sake. Whosoever will rise up against us for evil shall die for our sake, shall die for our sake. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, mighty Savior. In Jesus' glorious, beautiful, excellent, and wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. I welcome you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to another beautiful, blessed and glorious moment in the presence of our Creator and our Maker. My prayer to God is for God to overshadow us with His presence in the name of Jesus. This is the path of righteousness, Church of God, the church given to us by God to preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, to preach the truth, to preach messages that will empower souls to break barriers and to reach new heights. As you listen to the messages and as you come before the presence of God in this ministry, may your life be transformed. May you be empowered to break barriers. May you receive the grace, the power, and the authority to reach new heights in the name of Jesus. And I decree by the decree of heaven, whosoever is standing to frustrate you, whosoever is standing to block your ways, they shall collapse and die in the name of Jesus. Household wickedness will fall and die before thee. Territorial forces will fall and die before thee. Occultic forces will fall and die before thee. Conspiracy of darkness will scatter before thee. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We meet every day, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 10 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays from 11.45 p.m. to 12.50 a.m. And on Sundays from 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. at Monreed Community Center, Modlis Avenue, Modlis County, Kildare. Come on, come on. Come and experience the truth. Come and experience the demonstration of the power of God Almighty. And come and experience your own divine miracles and encounter with God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This Sunday is our last Sunday of the three Sundays that the Lord has given to us to embark on a three powerful Sunday program titled, There Shall No Evil Before Thee. When you are joining the service tomorrow or when you are attending live, come with a bottle of oil. And as you come, may God Almighty make you and I to be carriers of the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bible says, henceforth let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. The anointing all you are going to bring tonight and tomorrow shall become the blood of Jesus. As you use the anointing oil, no evil shall befall you. Disaster will not come near you. Tragedies, accidents, disasters shall not be your lot in the name of Jesus. The Lord will preserve you from all evil in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Tonight, unto the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are looking at what the Lord has given us the grace to look into, which is anointing. Anointing is what the Lord has given us the grace to look into. What is anointing? We have been listening to different messages about anointing, anointing, anointing. And what is this anointing that we are talking about? Anointing is the release of God's grace. Anointing is the release of God's ability. Anointing is the release of God's spirit and power upon a life to do great and mighty exploit. Anointing is the release of grace, is the release of God's presence, is the release of God's ability, God's spirit upon a life to do great and mighty exploit. Without the anointing, exploit will be practically impossible. Not just practically impossible, but exploit that will announce someone's destiny will be practically impossible. I am praying in the name of Jesus. May we be baptized with the anointing of God. May we receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. May God baptize us with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, lay your right hand upon your head and say, Oh Lord God, my Father, baptize me with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Baptize me, oh Lord. Baptize me, Lord, with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Baptize this church. 
baptize every life say tonight with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, we have prayed, beloved. You need, we need, we both need, all of us, we need the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It is the anointing of God that will break yokes. It is the anointing of God that will make a life to become glorious. It is the anointing of God that will make a life to speak and for signs and wonders to manifest. It is the anointing of God that will make a man to discern. It is the anointing of God that will make a man to sleep and to have divine and great revelations. I want you to pray again with your right hand on your head. Say, anointing of the Most High God, fall upon me now. Anointing of God, fall upon us. Anointing of God, fall upon our children, fall upon our wives, fall upon our husbands, fall upon this church. Power of God, anointing of God, fall upon us now. Anointing of God, anointing of God, presence of God, envelope our lives. Enter us, envelope us, enter us, envelope us, enter us, envelope us. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Anointing of God will make you to become bold and courageous. Anointing of God will make you to discern the mystery streets of life. Anointing of God will expose the nakedness of the enemies. Anointing of God will make liars to be exposed before thee. With your right hand upon your head again, say, anointing of the most high God, fall upon me now. Anointing of God, fall upon us. Fall upon our homes. In the name of Jesus, anointing fall upon us. In Jesus' name we are praying. It is the anointing of God that will make your environment to become too odd for the enemies to Pray. It is the anointing of God that will make you to speak and for the devil to tremble. It is the anointing of God that will make you to vomit fire. Lay your right hand upon your head again and cry to your father. Say, oh Lord God, my father, baptize me, oh Lord, with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Baptize us, oh Lord. Baptize us, oh Lord, with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Baptize us. Baptize us. Baptize us with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we are praying. Anointing of God will make you not to fear. Anointing of God will make you to walk with your shoulders high. Anointing of God will make you to break yokes. Anointing of God will separate you out from ancestral and demonic causes. With your right hand still upon your head, cry again to God. Beloved, if there is a time in the history of man when man ought to pray for anointing, when man ought to pray for God's presence, when man ought to pray for God's spirit, the time is now. Why? Because the Antichrist are deceiving so many and they are lying. I want you to praise. Oh God! God, my Father, anoint me afresh in the name of Jesus. Oh God of heaven, oh God of heaven, God Almighty, anoint us afresh, anoint us afresh. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Beloved, you cannot understand anointing without understanding God. You need to understand God first. We need relationship with God before we can have divine presence of God around us. I want you to pray. Lord, show me yourself. Oh Lord, reveal yourself to us. Jehovah, Jehovah. Jehovah, give us revelation about yourself. Reveal yourself to us. Reveal yourself to us. Reveal yourself to us. Reveal yourself to us. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Many are going to church. Many are claiming to be serving God, but they don't still know who the God they are serving is. Many don't know who God is. Many don't have relationship with God. That's why they keep praying without manifestation. That's why they keep praying without result. I want you to pray against me. Lord, open my eyes to know you. Lord, teach me yourself. Teach me who you are yourself. Oh Lord, reveal yourself to us. Reveal yourself to us. Reveal yourself to us. Teach us yourself, oh Lord. Reveal yourself to us. Reveal yourself to us. Reveal yourself to us. Reveal yourself to us. In Jesus' Jesus name we have prayed in Jesus name we have prayed the Bible talks about God being love without love you cannot know God say my father my God my Father, my God, plant your agape love in my life. Oh, Lord God of heaven, plant your agape love in our lives. Plant agape love in our lives. Plant agape love in our lives. In Jesus' name, we are praying. When you know God, you will know how to please him. When we know God, we will know how to praise him. When we know God, we will know how to help our neighbors. When we know God, we will know how to live in righteousness and in holiness. I want you to praise the Lord. Reveal yourself to me. I want to know more of you. Father, reveal yourself. Reveal yourself to us. Reveal yourself to us. Reveal yourself to us. In Jesus' name, we are pray anointing. He said it is the release of God's grace, God's ability, God's spirit, and God's power 
upon a life to do great and mighty exploit. David was anointed before he could do great and mighty exploit. David was fighting the bear, he was fighting lions, but no one knew about David's glory, not until when he was anointed. I pray, anointing that will announce you to the whole world, anointing that will announce the presence of God in your life, shall come upon you tonight in the name of Jesus. Say, anointing of God, that will announce God's glory in my life to the whole world fall upon us now anointing that will announce the glory of god anointing that will announce the presence of god anointing that will announce who god is in our lives so your world fall upon us now fall upon us now in jesus name we have prayed in first samuel chapter 16 first samuel chapter 16 verse 13 first samuel 16 verse 13 the bible says then samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren and the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. Samuel anointed David, and immediately from that day on, the spirit of God rested upon him. And David became the carrier of God's presence. David became the carrier of God's spirit. I am decreed by the power of the Holy Ghost. From tonight, you will carry God's anointing. From tonight, we shall carry God's presence. From tonight, we shall carry God's spirit. We shall carry God's spirit. Anointing of God shall dwell in us from tonight. Shall dwell in this church. Shall dwell in the lives of every member. Anointing to pray. Anointing to do great and mighty exploit, anointed to prophesy, anointed to heal the sick, anointed to raise the dead, anointed to walk in the ways of the Lord, anointed to win souls for Christ, shall fall upon us, shall fall upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Our Lord Jesus Christ was anointed as well. It tells you the importance of anointing. In Matthew chapter 3, let's look at verses 16 and 17. Our Lord Jesus Christ, he was anointed as well. Matthew chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. The Bible says, And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight away out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning upon him. After baptism, the Spirit of God descended upon God Himself, baptized Him with His own Spirit. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I'm well pleased. This is my beloved Son, in whom I'm well pleased. Anointing of God will make God to call you and I sons and daughters, because we are the ambassadors of Christ. It is only those with God's spirit that will function in the fullness of God's power. In Acts of Apostles, chapter 10, verse 38, Acts 10, verse 38, the Bible says, Our God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, with what? With the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. So anointing of God will make God to be with a life. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. So anointing will give us authority to heal those oppressed of the devil. Anointing of God will give authority over the kingdom of darkness. Anointing of God will give authority to a life to do good. The, the disciples as well, beloved, they were baptized. The disciples, they were what? They were baptized with the anointing before they could function well in their ministerial assignment and calling. In Acts of Apostles, chapter 2, let's look at from verse 1 to 4. The Bible says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a right rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like of fire, and it sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. 
at Pentecost, the disciples, they gather together. The apostles, they gather together. And they prayed in one accord. And the Bible says, there appeared unto them clothing tongues like as of fire. And it sat upon each of them. So fire came and sat upon them. Authority came and sat upon them. The presence of God came and entered them. The Spirit of God came and filled their soul those filled their lives and they were all filled with the holy ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance so the anointing will give you a new name anointing will give you a new voice anointing will give you or will take you and i to another level of authority and power anointing will make a man to flourish and to do exploits in the land of the living. Anointing of God is the presence of God that will make a life to heal the sick. Are you here tonight? Are you still being troubled by the breeze and by the storms of life? You need the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Are you here tonight? Are you still afraid of the kingdom of darkness? Are you still afraid of terror of the night? Are you still afraid of the arrows of darkness? Are you still afraid of what the enemies will do? Are you still afraid of principalities and powers? You need the anointing of the Holy Ghost to conquer them. Are you here tonight? And you cannot discern. Are you here tonight? You are still seeing yourself being with the multitude and nothing is making you to be outstanding. Are you here tonight? And it's like battles are swallowing up. Are you here tonight? It's like you are lost in your thoughts, in your spiritual life. Are you here tonight? It's like your life is just ordinary. Nothing special is happening. Are you here tonight? It's like you have no direction of life. Are you here tonight? It's like your tongue is bringing problems to your life. Are you here tonight? And it's like your body is not even well. Are you here tonight? It's like your head is being pressed down. All you need tonight is to run to God for anointing to be released upon thee. Anointing is the power, is the light, is the presence, and is the fullness of God in the life. Where God is dwelling, in pharmacies cannot dwell. In the fullness of God, in the presence of God, there is liberty, there is increase, there is joy, there is testimonies, there is authority, there is power. The Bible says in Psalm 91, He that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Whosoever is the carrier of God's anointing shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. It is only those who are anointed of God who say, my God in whom will I trust. It is only those who are carriers of God's spirit who say, my God in whom will I trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. It is those who are carriers of God's anointing that will say, indeed God is my God. God is my rest. God is my refuge. God is my strength. God is my light. God is my savior. It is those who are carriers of God's anointing that will wake up in the morning and pray and they are sure that miracles, signs and wonders will happen. It is those who are anointed with God, who are anointed with the presence of God, who are anointed with the power of the Holy Ghost, who are carriers of God's fire, We wake up in the morning and command the day. It is only those who are carriers of anointing of God We pray and they will say, it is done and it is done. I pray in the name of Jesus. May you and I, may we receive the baptism of Holy Ghost. May we receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The disciples, they knew that they could not do anything without the presence of God. They could not do any miracles without the presence of God. That was why they remember what the book of Joel said, that in the last day, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And they cried to God in Acts of Apostles chapter 2 at the day of Pentecost. And they receive the presence of God. They receive the baptism of God. In the church, we need the presence of God. In our homes, we need the presence of God. In our jobs, we need the presence of God. In our individual lives, we need the presence of God. In our in our day-to-day -day lives, we need God's presence. We need the fullness, the presence, the light, the power, and the Spirit of God to dwell with us. I want you to pray tonight, beloved. Before the Spirit of God can dwell in the life, that life must be a clean vessel for that spirit is called the holy spirit and holy spirit can only dwell in holy vessels holy spirit will not dwell in the body 
of a sinner. Holy Spirit will not dwell in the body of a fornicator or adulterous person. Holy Spirit will not dwell in the body of a thief. Holy Spirit will only dwell in the body washed by the blood of the Lamb. That was why we sang the hymn that God gave us the grace to sing that hymn. That have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood? The question we should be asking ourselves tonight is this. Have we been to the Jesus for the cleansing power? We need the cleansing power in the blood of Jesus. We need Jesus Christ to cleanse us so that we can receive the anointing. Beloved, when you receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost, when the Holy Ghost is living inside of you, you will not be afraid. You will not be afraid of the kingdom of darkness. When the Holy Spirit is living inside of you, you will know where to go, what to do. Holy Spirit. It will begin to lead you, it will guide you, direct you, begins to give you divine revelation, divine instructions. Holy Spirit begins to minister to you. Even when people are lying to you, Holy Spirit begins to expose them to you. Even when people are pretending and they are masquerading in nature before you, they are coming to you like friends, but in what they are revealing beings, Holy Spirit begins to give you divine insight into what is going on in their heart. I want you to tell God tonight, say, Father, I want the Holy Spirit. I need the Spirit of God in my life. I need the Spirit of God in my home. I need the Spirit of God around me. Forgive me of all my sins. Wash me clay with the blood of Jesus and let my life Receive the Holy Ghost. Wash us clean, O Lord, with the blood of Jesus. Say, O Lord God, my Father, wash us clean with the blood of Jesus and let our lives receive the Holy Spirit. Wash us clean with the blood of Jesus. Wash our environment clean. Wash this church clean. Wash our children, our, our husbands, our wives. Wash our generation free, O Lord. Wash us clean from all unrighteousness and fill us with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I want you to pray. We are going to pray tonight upon our oil. David was anointed with oil and his cup was made to run over with grace, with power. It was after the anointing of God upon David that he defeated Goliath. Goliath that people were running away from. Goliath that even King Saul could not rise to fight. But the anointing and the presence of God upon David gave him the power, the insight and what needs to be be done and what he should do to destroy Goliath. There were so many stones, but God led him to choose the ones that would destroy Goliath. Saul could not choose the stones. David's brother could not choose the stones because they were not anointed of God. I want you to lift up your voice and pray. Say, O oh Lord God of heaven, the creator of heaven and earth, I present my voice before thee. Anoint this oil with authority, power, and your spirit in the name of Jesus. Anoint our oil, O Lord, with authority, with your power, with your fire, in the name of Jesus. Anoint this oil with your authority, with your power, and with your fire. Anoint our oil, anoint our oil with your spirit, with your power, with your fire, in the name of Jesus. Let this oil, O Lord, carry power, carry fire, carry anointing. Let this oil carry power, carry fire, carry authority of God, in the name of Jesus. You, this oil, carry power, carry Carry fire, carry authority, carry fire, carry power, carry authority, carry fire, carry power, carry authority, carry power, carry fire, carry authority. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In First Samuel chapter 16, verse 13, the Bible says, Then Samuel took the horn of oil. The oil in your hand is now the horn of oil, and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. He anointed David in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. Now with your anointing, with your oil in your hand, you are going to dip your hand in your oil and place the oil on your head, in the middle of your head. See, from this day on, you, my life, carry the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, you, my life, 
from this day on, carry the Spirit of God, carry the Spirit of God, carry the Spirit of God, carry the anointing of God, carry the power of God, carry the fire of God, carry the presence of God, as David was anointed, and from that day forward, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. Spirit of God, come upon me. Spirit of God, come upon me. Spirit of truth, Spirit of power, Spirit of holiness, Spirit for signs and wonders, anointing that breaketh yokes, anointing that cannot be insulted, anointing of discernment, anointing of revelation, anointing to heal the sick, anointing to dwell in the presence of God. Come upon me, come upon us, 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 come upon anointing to pray and for prayers to be answered. Come upon us, come upon us, come upon us, come upon us. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Still with your right hand on your head, with your heart, pray like this. Say, anointing of God upon my life. Deliver me from inherited causes and yokes in the name of Jesus. Anointing of God upon my head. Deliver me, O God. Anointing of God upon our heads. Deliver us from inherited causes and yokes. Deliver us. Deliver us. Deliver us. Deliver us. Deliver us. Deliver us in the name of Jesus. It shall come to pass in that day that the bodies shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and the yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be broken because of anointing. Anointing of God, break every yoke in our lives, break every yoke in our homes, break every yoke in this church, break every yoke, break every yoke, yokes of darkness, yokes of impossibilities, yokes of failure, yokes of disgrace, yokes of sin. Be broken, be broken, be broken. Anointing of God, break every yoke in our lives, break every yoke in this church, yokes of stagnancy on this platform. Holy Ghost, break every yoke, break every yoke, yokes of darkness on this platform, yokes of darkness in every life. Yokes of darkness in every home be broken right now. Anointing of God, break our yokes, 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 break our yokes. In Jesus' name, we are praying with your hands still on your head. David went to the battlefront and he killed Goliath because of the anointing. Say, because of the anointing of God in my life. Every Every raging enemies of my life, every Goliath in my life shall die, shall die, shall die, shall die because of the anointing of God in our lives. Every raging enemies, every Goliath, every Egyptian, all the Pharaohs in our lives, we command them to die. I say die, I say die, I say die. Our Pharaoh die, Egyptians die. We command them to die. Goliath die, Goliath die. Impossibilities die, shame die, disgrace die, poverty die, lack die. I command them to die. Every problems in our lives, we command them to die. 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 Untimely death, sicknesses, infirmities, diseases. We command them to die. We command them to die. We command them to die. In Jesus' name, we are praising. Holy Ghost, I Holy Ghost, turn me to fire. Holy Ghost, turn me to fire. Holy Ghost, turn us to fire. Holy Spirit of God, anointing of God, become fire in our lives. Become fire in our homes, in our mouths. Become fire. Become fire. Become fire. Become fire. In Jesus' name, we are praying. You are still going to put your hand in that oil and you put it in your mouth and you are going to pray say you my tongue from this day on become the tongue of fire in the name of Jesus you my tongue because you are now anointed of God become fire become fire become authority and fire become authority power and fire become authority power and fire become authority power and fire our tongues become authority power and fire our tongues become authority power and fire authority power and fire in Jesus name we are praying now with the authority and the power of God in your tongue you are going to pray for yourself. Say, by the authority and power of God in my life, by the authority and power of God in the name of Jesus, by the authority and power of God in the blood of Jesus, I pray upon myself. It is well with me. Open your mouth and bless yourself. It is well with you. It is well with us. It is well with our going out and our coming in. No evil shall befall us. Disaster will not come near us. Every rage of the darkness, every rage of the wasters, every rage of 
ancestral and demonic forces over our lives. They are destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Every destroying forces, we destroy them tonight in the name of Jesus. The Lord will restore us back. The Lord will give us peace. It will give us joy. The Lord God Almighty will be our God all the days of our lives. Every good door that has been shut against us by the anointing of God, we command them to open in the name of Jesus. All the years the locusts have eaten, the caterpillars and the canker worms, by the power of the Holy Ghost, they are restored back to us. They are restored back to us. They are restored back to us. The silver and the gold of this land, the Bible says, if ye are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. From this day on, we shall eat the good of the land. From this day on, we are lifted up. The ministry is lifted up. Every life said tonight, and those that have been listening to this message in the future, they are lifted up. They are lifted up. They are lifted up. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed in the morning. We are blessed in the noon. In the name of Jesus, we are the head and not the tail. Success are not a failure in the name of Jesus. Shame is far away from us. Disgrace is far away from us in the name of Jesus. The Lord will clothe us with honor. The Lord will clothe us with goodness, love, kindness, favor in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, mighty Savior. In Jesus' most blessed and wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus, we say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the anointing. Thank you, Jesus, for releasing your spirit spirit upon me thank you lord for releasing your power upon us thank you lord for this church thank you lord for all the viewers thank you lord for all the members thank you lord for the service this sunday thank you lord for another impactation thank you lord for everything glory be to your name accept our thanks in jesus name in jesus name we have prayed amen 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 in jesus name if the message is a blessing unto you don't keep it to yourself share the good news let the whole world enjoy the anointing that you and I have received tonight by sharing the good news. It is the presence of God, it is the anointing of God, it is the Spirit of God in a life that will announce the glory of that life. Spread this good news and be a blessing to someone in your generation. Once again, this is the path of righteousness, Church of God. The church given to us by God to preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. The church given to us by God to preach the truth to preach gospel that will empower lives to break barriers and to reach new heights. As you join us Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 10 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. And Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from 11.45 p.m. to 12.15 a.m. And on Sundays from 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. at Monreed Community Center, Modlins Avenue, Modlins County, Kildare. May your life May your homes and may everything that concerns you be under the shadow of God Almighty. And may God himself be your God, your strength, your life, your Redeemer, your Savior in the name of Jesus. And may he give you the desires of your heart in the name of Jesus. Invite your friends and loved ones. When you are coming for the service this Sunday, come with a bottle of oil. Lord God Almighty has given us the grace to present ourselves before his throne with a bottle of oil. And your life and my own life shall carry the marks of the Lord Jesus, and no evil shall befall us. Any man or woman planning to trouble us shall die in the name of Jesus. Every altar erected to drink our blood or eat our flesh, such altars are destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. Invite your friends and loved ones and let us enjoy and study and learn at the feet of Jesus. God bless you and keep shining in the law. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's share our personalized grace. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven powerful, victorious, and beautiful hallelujah to God most high. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you all and keep shining in the Lord. Bye.